Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the film Dunkirk. Now this is directed by Christopher Nolan and is based on the actual true event about the World War II Dunkirk evacuation. Now this is a superb movie, I really did enjoy this and I do believe from, from all the movies I have seen so far this year, I believe this is the best movie I've seen this, this year, you know. <laughs> I mess up like other good movies but I really do believe it's like Taste the Cake, you know. Now the film itself is not really big on like performances and like dialogue and stuff and that's kind of some of the flaws in the film is like the dialogue scenes themselves. I had trouble kind of understanding what the actors or actresses were saying, you know. But that, this film was like well paced, you know, it's like a stylish film. I like the music and it's like very tense. And it's like really like non-stop, like I guess you could say action to a certain extent. But it's like a non-stop desperate situation for like the soldiers who are trying to escape from this, this place, you know. And they're being shot at and blowed up and so on, you know. So like the whole film is about like the whole like all these different like races. So like you have like the uh... The French, the Belgians, the Canadians, the British, they are cut off and surrounded by the German army who is constantly attacking them and won't let them escape and evacuate, you know. So I thought this film was, uh, it, it was pretty good, you know. And like I say, it's not really big on like like performances and I guess you could say storytelling. It's just like a non-stop, you know, like tense situation of the people trying to evacuate, you know. So that's what basically, like, that's what's basically what's basically going on in the film, you know, itself, you know. Now overall, I thought Christopher Nolan did a good job on the direction on this film. I like the look of it. It has like dark and gloomy, you know, and it's like very tense. It could be scary at times. Now it's not overly, overly violent, but it does have like a lot of violence in it, but you don't see like gory, like blood and stuff like that, everything like that, you know. You can't see blood, but it's not overly violent, you know. But like I said, one of the flaws I thought with, with the film was like the language. Like whenever they're having like dialogue scenes where the actors are talking to each other, I thought that was kind of like flawed to a certain extent. Cause I didn't, really, you know, you really couldn't understand what they were saying. Cause they have these like accents, like these British accents or like German accents and stuff. So you really can't understand what they're saying, you know. And I thought of, I think it's how he says his name, Fion or Fion Whitehead. He's like the protagonist of the film. He plays, uh, I think, Tommy. And he's like the film is like revolving around, but he really doesn't really say too much, you know. But you can tell he's definitely like the star of the film because it's like, like it's like a, like a huge like overshadow over him, you know. You can tell he's actually like the one running the film. But you have like Kenneth Branagh in here, you have Killian Murphy, you have Tom Hardy. They're all in this film too as well because Killian Murphy, he plays like a lone survivor who's like shell shock, you know. Then you have uh, Kenneth Branagh. Yeah, Kenneth Branagh is Commander Bolton. He's like the peer master doing the evacuation. And then you have Tom Hardy as a as Faria, a Royal Air Force pilot. He's like the ones like constantly flying in the airplane, and he's shooting down like the other uh, the other like people in the airplanes. You know, I'm not too big on like war. You know, <laughs> war events. You know, I'm kind of into, it, but I don't really know like what they call them and stuff. You know, but he's the one like in the plane flying around shooting them, shooting the ones down, and they crash into the water on land and stuff. You know, <laughs> but overall, I thought this um uh, this is a pretty good film. You know. Uh, yeah, this this is a, a very good film, you know, I really did enjoy it, you know, it does have like a couple of flaws and like I said, most of like the dialogue and it's not really big on like performances, you know, it's just like constantly them trying like to evacuate, you know, and they have these like German, I think, armies, you know, trying to shoot at them and, to, you know, keep them from evacuating and stuff, you know. But overall, I'm giving uh, Dunkirk, I'm giving this an A-, minus, and I would definitely recommend it for like fans of like, I guess like this World War II event, or if you're like a fan of like war fans or of Christopher Nolan himself, you know. I would definitely recommend it for that crowd, you know. So yeah, I'm giving uh, Dunkirk an A-. And this is my review. And please leave a comment and subscribe too as well.